Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So I found an article about a guy who, um, so he was a Netflix director. A Netflix director. Like he, he was directing a movie for Netflix. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and they gave him like, you know, millions of dollars, like tens of millions of dollars to um, make a movie. Uh-oh. So... <laughs> What I guess it didn't go well. Well, yeah, he didn't <laughs> get the movie. He didn't get the movie made. Um, okay. okay. What so movie he ended up. I, I don't even know what it was. Some random movie. All right, fair enough. So, so what ended up happening though was Homeboy took eleven million dollars of his. I think it was fifty-five million. So twenty percent of his budget. And he decided to play the stock market with it. No. So he uh, he, oh, no. he took a. Uh, it's kind of funny. So he he yoloed into options. Okay, not which a bad are very plan. high risk. High risk, but not a bad plan. High reward. Exactly. Depending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you diversify right, you well, can... no, I mean options are way different. You can they go to zero very fast. All right. Okay, so he 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 basically put seven million dollars into options and lost all of it immediately. Okay, that sucks. But Unfortunate. what he ended up doing after that was he took the remaining $4 million and he bought a bunch of Dogecoin oh, yeah. before the run a few years ago. Ah. And he ended up turning that into $27 million. Nice. But still fraud, still can't do that. You can't take no. money for business purposes no. and put it in your personal account. No. That's LLC so, cash, right? Yeah, like he, Yeah, it was business money and he just like gambled it. Um, so yeah, so he, he, it's very funny that you say that because it's actually gambling. The stock market is just gambling. Yeah. yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's a, it's legal slots for the world. Yeah. I mean, if you, I mean, yeah, there's things you can do, things you can know, things you can whatever. Yeah. There's things you can know in poker too. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> uh, things but you can know in poker. so I just, I thought it was really funny that he ended up plus $16 million, but I don't know if he got arrested. I would imagine he's probably facing some sort of criminal charge. Yes, most and then, likely. then he, uh, he had the audacity to go to Netflix and tell Netflix that he, they, they still owed him like $15 million somehow after uh, he gambled their money. He just happened to get lucky with the Dogecoin thing. Like he would have lost it back. He would, yeah. He would have lost. He's like, listen, I brought you 16 million back. Yeah. Like a, it's so funny because I could just see him like, what, dude? You got the money. No hard, no foul. Yeah, right? right? Like, hey, I brought all your money back. Plus, some. give me some more. We'll make a move. And then, Bro. but uh, that is some, dude, just the taking $7 million and putting it on like a literal gamble. Like, yeah, if you win, you, you'd win a lot of money. But like, it wasn't even your money. Um, I mean, yeah, look, gambling addiction is 100% a thing, yes. Jonas, so I don't know, man. And honestly, it's it's only getting worse with, like, the way technology is going. Now we have, like, you can watch uh, your favorite media content maker gamble on stream. Uh, you can watch your favorite celebrity gamble on IG, you know, and, like, there's so many different companies now and like you told me you were in Ohio and you were gambling over your phone. Yeah. A football game. It was so great. Access, I loved it. Yeah, I, I bet it sounds like a blast. It was a lot of fun, but accessibility to gambling is just going up, man. This guy's just proof in the, in the pudding is like, it doesn't even matter. It was probably like one of his first big gigs and he just couldn't overcome the addiction to not do something stupid. Yeah. Like I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like he had other issues before he got the money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. I mean, people. I mean, gambling is just as addicting as like cocaine. Like, people get just on hooked as, as ga gambling as they do anything else. It's like the the thrill of the win. Yeah. And the chasing the high. I'm kind of glad that I've never won at gambling. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've, I mean, I've won some. I've won some, but I've never come out like no. In the green. Like if we would have went to Vegas and I would have won like twenty five thousand dollars, I would have been like, we should stay another couple of days. I would have stayed another couple of days. We yeah, could have right? lifted like, up. We could have lifted up on ten G's of that, man. You could have came home and bought a house. Right. Right. Yeah. With ten G. What fucking house are you buying for ten G's? No, fifteen G's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. It's it's. I like gambling a lot. But it's funny, like, yeah, I don't, I really enjoy gambling, <laughs> but okay. I don't do yeah. it 
to a point that like I have a problem, right? Like it's like I enjoy doing it, but I'm like, oh, I lost my fifty dollars. I'm not like I lost fifty. I bet you I can get it back. Let me get a hundred now, and I'll put that in. We'll make three. Like I, there was someone I knew that used to do that, and sometimes he would be successful. Like we go, he'd like he'd take like two hundred bucks out to play like blackjack. He'd lose it, and then he'd be like, I'm gonna go get two hundred more out, and I'm gonna win that back. I'm not mad at that. And I watched him win it back and win more. But also sometimes you would lose it all. And now you're down 400 instead of 200, right? Like it's – I get it. Um, if Like if sports betting like for uh, like DraftKings that I did in Ohio because it was legal there. Yeah. If that was If that was here, I could see myself doing that every Sunday during football. Like I would be like, okay, I'm going to put – I mean, if I did it every week, I'd, I'd probably put way less than like 10 bucks or 20 bucks or something. I put like 50 and I was in Ohio. It's like a one-time thing, right? Um, but I could see myself every time I'd sit down to watch a football game, put like 20 bucks in the thing and, and see if I could win some money. Because it's fun. You're like, I bet the next pass is, next play is going to be a run. I bet they're going to score a touchdown on this drive. And if you win, you win money. And if they don't, you're like, okay. So like some, some, some rules for a person who – thinks gambling is fun but you don't want it to become a problem um i would say that my my primary rule probably one of yours too is only bring the money with you that you're willing to lose yeah don't take any more money out of the atm either yeah that, that's the hard that's part. the problem you, you have such accessibility part. to your money especially on like DraftKings, where yeah. you don't even have to get the money uh, that's what i mean man they make it they make it so easy for you to gamble and i could see why like that's that's a that's one of those things that's kind of like a, a an area of contention of like do we want more accessibility to that because it's not good for us i don't even really think that the amount of social media that we you have is what, good man? for us it's man. just another vice whether it's porn or alcohol or weed or coke or gambling. sex or gambling mm. all the same dude people can watch porn all day and they're hooked on that people can go gamble whenever the hell they want just because we don't live in a state that isn't legal in right now to me it ain't gonna be legal later like People smoke weed all day. We weed ain't legal in Texas. Dude, are you saying that China is doing it right? Is that what you're saying? No. Is that what you're trying yeah, to say? No, right you now? were the one that said that we should have limitations, not me. I do think that we should have some limitations because, I mean, I, I, like I said, man, laws laws are here to keep I everybody in line. I am man. a big proponent. You are more of a laws are not for you and me guy. I am a let natural selection run its course guy. Like, let drugs be legal. People weed themselves out. Brother, you don't want that world. Because if drugs are legal, what happens when that person needs more money for drugs? Uh, they go to jail. Uh-huh. There's a saying is that uh, they, they came to the Jews. They came for the Jews, <laughs> and I did nothing because I wasn't Jewish. Then they came for the uh, they came for somebody else, and I didn't care because I wasn't one of them. And then when they came for me, there was nobody else. There was nobody left to help me. Yeah. So, I mean, so yeah, they come from you. They're going to start coming for the ones that are addicted to drugs. And then when those people need something, they're going to go for the next, the next, uh, the next victim. And then you're going to end up being the victim. There's no way. Yeah. Be there you know, and it's, and it's easy for me to say something like that when I don't have an addictive personality to like, I've never been like hooked on something. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I used to smoke cigarettes way back in the day. And like, yeah, I was definitely addicted and I, qu but I quit. So I get the – I understand the idea of an addiction you can't control. Um, but, like, otherwise, I'm pretty good. But there are people who, like, they have sex with somebody one time. They're, like, in love with them, and they'll do whatever the hell they say. There's people who go and do coke one time, and they start blowing their whole goddamn bank account on cocaine. There's You hear stories of people that do things one time. But I feel like those people have addictive personalities. That doesn't mean we should necessarily weed them out. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that, like, I want them to die. <laughs> I mean, but, like, essentially, you're but, saying no, go ahead and kill no, yourself. Here's, here, here's I know you can't I handle it. Here's what I'm trying to say. I believe in accountability. And if you can't control yourself, don't do it. Then you die. And if you, if you can't control yourself, that is not anyone, anyone's problem but yours. I'm going to put this smorgasbord of cocaine in front of you, knowing that you have a coke problem. Good luck. But that's, that, that's a different thing. Is it? No, because like if someone's enabling you, that's wrong. Like if you have a problem with drugs and you can go buy them at the store, there's people who have problems with alcohol and the liquor store sells them a, a pint of vodka every single day. Yeah, but even when you go to the to the bar, sometimes they'll be like, "Look, it looks like you've had enough." Yeah, but, but if your you go society to the is basically sober, saying, "Take it." But if what you, you go want. to the bar sober, they're going to feed you your addiction. 
It's when you have too much, they cut you off. The liquor store. So you're saying you. that we should cut people off of these narcotics, crack, cocaine, uh, heroin, methamphetamine? If they're too high, but the next day they're if sober. They're too high. The same. The same as if as alcohol. If they're too high. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking I, shit. Wait, first you first you said it was everybody can get everything. Now it's if you're too high, now you can't. It's the same as like being cut off and whatever. But like, no, I don't even. I accountability, bro. Be accountable for your actions. I mean, accountability is yes, but I feel like there's accountability in the sh in the system that we have currently. Yeah, even but with the there being for people who can't account for themselves. Because the accountability lies in can you not break the law? Can you not sell cocaine? Oh, you can't go to jail. <laughs> There's I mean, your accountability. Hey, you know, I'm just saying. People... I think you just seriously the, the 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 world that you're looking at is one that will just end up getting a lot of people killed. And you I have mean, to you have to realize that. I like I understand you want the the mutant football league where everybody's doing steroids, <laughs> and you just want everybody to have heroin in their fucking back pocket whoa, and shit. Whoa, 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 but this whoa. is it's Don't gonna it's, putting drugs in my mouth. And this is, I'm not gonna put drugs <laughs> in my mouth. Dare. I'm putting words in your mouth. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like it's, it's it's detrimental to people. Gambling is an addiction. The more accessible it's become, the more problems we are seeing pop up for it. Drugs are illegal. About that stuff does that make me does that make me Republican about that? Um, you're, the so, you're the socialist about it and to I'm a not... certain extent, yeah, because it's kind of like it's kind of like leaving behind the communities that n necessarily would um, most suffer from these issues, and it's well, not it's like, yeah, it's like you don't like it's. I feel like yeah, it's like you you want things put in place to help the people that can't help themselves, mm -hmm. and I'm like people should just help themselves because you should be accountable for what you're doing. And and here's the thing about it, especially <laughs> is like if you look at the legalization of marijuana, it's like the funds that go to the people who can sell it legally at dispensaries is it's not going to like the every man they have a certain amount of vouchers that they that you can get you can go and apply for it, and then you have a certain amount of time to get the business established but you need so much amount of money to start an llc to get like the the area set up normal person can't afford that shit so who who steps in oh, oh philip morris yeah 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 no 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 i mean yeah i feel you so the communities where the problem is the most they aren't even going to see the money put back into the community because those people the problem is is the equ the equity is already so fucked that like the it, people who own all of it are the ones that get all the shit anyway exactly. so, i mean it comes down to class, class systems yeah no matter what even when it all comes back to class systems so if they legalize cocaine tomorrow guess what you're going to see craft cocaine <laughs> And you're gonna be like the fuck. On that note, that's all the time we have for this podcast. Go to thecrazytown.com and go find yourself some craft cocaine, but cheesy craft cocaine. Single. Right? Oh Jesus Christ! All right, we out, Jonas. T -t -t